In this video, we're going to talk about survey figure prefix databases. We're going to open the survey figure prefix database in our drawing, and we're going to discuss how and why the figures inside of our drawing are being displayed. So first, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on a couple of figures that are in our drawing. I'm going to navigate over to our figure prefix database. I'm going to drop it down, and we have our essentials that we're going to look at in the side of this file. If you needed to create a figure prefix database, you can right click on figure prefix database and select new. We're gonna go ahead and edit this one and manage our figure prefix database. Before you do an import, you usually wanna have your figure prefix database set up, obviously, because when we did our import, we told Civil 3D to create our line work using the figure prefix database. So if you didn't have the figure prefix database set up yet, then you wouldn't be able to import that line work and the field to finish wouldn't be completed when you did that import. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna look at the couple of objects that we have here, which is a fence line, a building, and a shrub line. So if we look at fence and we look at the FNC figure prefix, you'll notice that you can have the code set for FNC set to not be a break line, not be a lot line, be displayed on the V fence layer, and then the style of how you want that figure to be displayed and what site you'd like that survey figure to go to. You also have your building, which is down below in the BLD. The BLD is a break line, and these will come up when we're talking about creating surfaces, is not a lot line, is displayed on the V building. It's displayed as basic and it goes to the survey site. And then you also have your shrubs, which are ESHB. Uh, it is not a break line. So break lines are defining hard edges on a surface. Uh, it is not a lot line. It does not define a parcel. And it's displayed on a specific layer with a specific style and a specific site. If you needed to create a new code set or a figure prefix database or a figure prefix, uh, you would go ahead and click the plus sign to create a new one. If you wanted to copy one, you would select a figure prefix click on the copy, and then you would create a copy down below. And if you wanted to delete some that you had already created that you didn't need anymore, you could click the delete option. So I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel because I don't wanna change any of my figure prefix database information. And the one thing to note is that if you hadn't created your figure prefix database before you did your import, you don't have to go back and delete your import and then redo it with your new pre figure prefix database. What you can do after you've done your survey import is you can go to your survey points and you can right click on it and you can choose process line work. And inside of process line work, you can choose your figure prefix database and you can tell Civil 3D to either process the line work and insert your figures, or you can tell it to just process the line work and do no insertions. If you chose to say no to the insertion of the figures, then if you wanted to then later import those figures into the drawing, you go to your figures inside of your survey database and you could right click and choose to insert your figures into drawings. So just because you've done a import does not mean that you're locked in on all of your survey information. There is plenty of edits that can take place inside of your survey database after the import takes place. So inside of figures, if you right click, you'll notice that you can edit figures, you can update your figures based on changes that you've made in the data sets. You can create new break lines, you can create figures interactively, you can create figures from objects, so you can draw in a polyline and then create a figure from that polyline. You can modify existing figures that are in your drawing. Uh, same thing with the survey points, just because you've imported the points, say one of the points had the wrong elevation, you can go ahead and go to your points and you can update them, or you could go to points and you can go to edit points and you can look at all the points that you've imported and change their eastings, their northings, and their elevations and their descriptions. So if a description was wrong, say the code set was incorrect, uh, there was a typo, or you missed your figure prefix, say it said EG instead of EP, you could go in and you could correct this by clicking on it and erasing the P, the G, if there was a G here, and you could change it to P. And that would then allow you to reprocess your line work using the correct code set. And then it would update your figures and you would have your edits done 
in Civil 3D rather than having to fix your data sets and then re-import them. 